Influenza is one of the only viruses that is able to beat the initial defenses of our immune system quite frequently. But why is this virus so good at it? And why do we need to get a vaccine every year? Especially when most vaccines work for decades or even a lifetime. If you haven't seen our videos on influenza or vaccines, I suggest you watch them now because they will help you understand this video much better. Influenza is able to best our immune system and vaccines to cause mass chaos because of three main reasons. Number one, genetic drift, which means the virus's genetic code slowly changes over time. The influenza virus is mutated at a rate of about 100 to 1,000 times more than your eukaryotic cells. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of mistakes in there, but that's not always a bad thing for the virus because it makes millions of copies. For example, if the virus mutates as hemagglutinin so it's harder for our immune system's antibodies to recognize it, it will do better and make more of itself. Number two, there are so many different variants of the flu. There are several hemagglutinins and neuraminidases that can interchange with each other to form different variants of the virus. Also, because of genetic drift, it's likely that if you see the same virus that's infected you previously, again later in life, it will be different enough that your immune system won't even remember how to fight it. Number three, genetic shift, which rarely happens, but when it does, it can be really bad for humans. Genetic drift is a reasonably slow change in a few nucleotides over time, but genetic shift is an extremely rapid, advanced change in the virus. Imagine a farmer with a sick pig. This pig is infected with not one flu virus, but two different kinds. I know he's having a bad day, guys. An H1N1 and an H2N2. The viruses both infect a single cell and try to spew out tons of their viral protein. The virus isn't very neat, and it doesn't pack itself up in a very specific way. It just grabs some stuff and it goes. It might take an H1 and an N2, which means that we just made a totally new flu virus. Also, it's very likely that we also made an H2N1. So now this pig is not just infected with one virus, not two viruses, but four different flu viruses. The farmer could very easily get this virus and start spreading it around. These are some of the crazy things with the flu that cause humans a lot of problems. So how do we try and keep away from getting these things? Twice a year, the WHO, the World Health Organization, gets together to talk about the flu vaccine, one for each season of the flu in the north and in the south. The flu vaccine protects against three or sometimes four versions of what the WHO thinks will be the most likely to cause problems that year. Usually, it's two type A viruses and one or two type B viruses. The vaccine is not perfect, but it does a fairly good job to fend off the likely influenza viruses that year. At the same time, the WHO does make an educated guess on what flu viruses are going to be very problematic that year, and sometimes they do get it wrong. So in the end, should you get the flu vaccine, you are definitely better off getting it than not getting it, especially if you are very old or very young. The flu vaccine will lower your risk of getting the flu by about 60% with quite a few factors involved in that percentage. In the end, it's up to you whether you think that 10 minute trip is worth lowering your risk by about 60%. Hey there guys, how you doing? Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press that like button. We appreciate it a bunch. If you want to subscribe to catch all of our new videos, go ahead and do that right now. It's just a click away. Also, if you want to watch some of our old videos, feel free to click the annotation above over there. Or if you want to watch the animators channel, click on the link below. As always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.